Hello everyone, this is Mohammad Ali from Ali Shuja Classroom and today we are going to learn how to broadcast your webinars live on Facebook for free. So there are several different softwares out there, for example Zoom and StreamYard that offer you uh, many beautiful features of uh, going live one-to-one -one or with several different participants um, on Facebook and YouTube and other platforms but uh, most of these features are not free. So StreamYard is much better in this regard if you are on low budget and uh, Zoom has uh, several sophisticated features but StreamYard has features like banners and other things that attract some people. Uh, however, Zoom um, free version does not allow you to go live and um, if you have more than one participant other than yourself then the video is limited to 40 minutes or so. Um, and on StreamYard, uh, the limitation is about how many hours you can broadcast um, in a month. And because of these limitations, I thought uh, since uh, after Corona, many classrooms are happening online, many meetings are happening online, and many people have started taking interviews online. So if you are on low budget, then uh, this video is for you. I'm going to teach you how to go live on Facebook uh, uh, using Zoom and Skype. So Skype is um, has the benefit of having um, capability of having several different participants at the same time, but it does not allow you to go live. And this is where OBS comes into play. So we'll use OBS uh, to go live on Facebook, but within OBS, we'll use either Zoom or Skype to uh, broadcast our webinar. So without further ado, let's uh, start um, the video. Uh, first of all, you need OBS software. And uh, it's very easy, just type OBS um, Studio in Google and it will give you the link for the software. It's a free software. And if it is already installed in your PC, make sure it is the latest version because uh, uh, when I was trying to prepare for this video, I could not uh, get it to work because later on I realized that Facebook had changed some algorithms and uh, it was not communicating with Facebook. Uh, my version was, I think, six months old or so for OPS. So I updated it and started working. So this is how it, it works. So before we go to uh, Zoom, let's uh, see how this OBS uh, software works. I have another video on OBS. It's not about streaming. It's about, about recording PowerPoint presentations. I'll put a link in the description so that if you are interested in recording presentations, you can also have a look in there. I, I explain OBS slightly more in detail in that video. I'm not going to get into that, but I will of course briefly discuss what these windows mean so that if it is uh, the first time that you're looking in, uh, at the software, things might look strange, but uh, it's fairly easy. So if you have up-to-date OBS running, then uh, let's get into it. These are scenes. Scenes mean that um, uh, it is all the setup that is required to stream a video. In this video, uh, we are going to stream our webinar. So we are setting it up for um, streaming. So everything that I do um, in the settings right here will be stored in this scene. If I have a different project where I'm recording a video and I want different settings for that, then I'll create a new scene so that not uh, every time I don't have to go to the different settings, it will be saved in a scene. So scene is a collection of all the settings that you would require to uh, broadcast a video. Okay, and within that we need sources. Sources means sources of input. If I want to just broadcast my voice, I just have to click this and add input capture. Okay, and then if I need to also um, video capture or window capture, window capture is used when you want to broadcast um, something that is going on in a software. And that's what, what we are going to do today. So, for example, I want to uh, broadcast what I'm doing in Zoom. So, if I'm doing a meeting in Zoom, so I can uh, do the window capture here and Zoom meeting will be broadcast, broadcasted here. And uh, so you have to add audio and video separately here. And if you want to add some images, you can add here as well. So all these are inputs or inputs that will be um, used um, in broadcasting your um, 
live stream. So um, now that we know this, uh, let's go to Zoom and uh, start a meeting. So this is, I'm already signed in. So I'm assuming that you already have a free account. This is a free account. And uh, I just want to click this new meeting so that the meeting is in, um, uh, meeting is running in the background so that we can place it in OBS. Okay. So this is me here. Uh, so they, this is connecting. So this is running now. I don't need to join with computer audio now. We just need video for now. So uh, let's minimize this. And inside OBS, I'll just go plus window capture. Okay. So in the drop down menu, click Zoom meeting. And this is how it will look like. And click OK. Something like this. So this is a square. Uh, we can make it a rectangular like this. And it will show rectangular here as well. Okay. Okay. So one of the benefits of doing this with OBS is that uh, you can also have some images. So we, I also need input capture. Input capture will be my microphone. So internal mic. If you have microphone connected with the PC, choose that. I'm using internal mic of my laptop, so I'll just click OK. So I have an audio capture. So what I'm, what am I saying? Whatever I'm saying will also be recorded. And window capture is capturing the Zoom window. So if there are many participants in this window, right now it's just me. But there are many. If there are many past participants, then all of them will uh, be shown here. And one of the benefits of using OBS is that you can also add your brand uh, images, something like that. So click image and uh, let's go browse. And I created this image just for this video. It, uh, it says uh, something about my Facebook page, something about my YouTube page, just made it uh, very quickly uh, because I wanted to show you that you can add some extra things in the background of your Zoom uh, meeting as well. So um, you can see that uh, the window is gone because it, the layer it is at the bottom for the window capture. Window capture is the one that we have our Zoom uh, window in. So let's drag it up, click it and drag it up. Now you can see that window is in front and there is an, um, there is an image in the background and you can also add some logo, for example, if, if you want to add logo, then go to browse again and let's say if this is my logo then I have it here make it smaller place it anywhere you, want, you like let's place it here and so it looks much different than how um, zoom webinar looks like so you can customize it okay so now this this is looking how I want it to look and um, I can I'm happy with it. So now let's go to the settings. In settings, what you need is you need to uh, set up the streaming. So a streaming for streaming, you need a stream key. In service, you'll choose Facebook Live because we are going to use Facebook Live. And in the stream key, you have to go to your Facebook page because we are going to uh, broadcast this on my our Facebook page. So we need a stream key for our Facebook page. Let's go there. Okay, so I created this Facebook page just for this uh, video. So you have to just click live here. And you have to use this stream key right here. So it's a long key, so just click copy from here. And go to OBS, go to settings. And here, uh, copy paste the stream key here. Uh, let's do that. Control A, delete. And if this is an old stream key, then we have to change it. it. They keep changing it. I don't know what is the frequency. I think every week or two weeks. So put the fresh stream key and uh, click apply. Now we have the latest stream key. Let's uh, rescale it again because it crashed. And now I have everything ready uh, and I can start streaming. You can see here that uh, Facebook is waiting for me to start my live video. So uh, this is my video and I'm going to start streaming.
and you can see that my window my video is starting here so i'll just stop it very quickly because my computer keeps on crashing Okay, so the window video is stopped and um, the reason is that uh, my computer keeps on crashing when I'm trying to do this. So you have seen that the window video works and uh, once it is up and running, you just have to write the description of the video here, tag your friends, tag the location and everything and this go live button will be activated and then you simply go live and uh, it will start streaming on Facebook. Okay. It's fairly simple with uh, with um, Zoom. So if I want to do the same thing with the Skype, um, I cannot work with Window Capture anymore. I have to remove this and replace it with something called NDI Source. This is NDI Source. Uh, it may not be available in your um, OBS, so you have to install it. I'll, I'll just click it here and tell you how to do it. It's very easy. Okay, let's let's not add it here because I need to define the source. So we have to have a Skype, the Skype running in the background. So let's go to let's write OBS NDI download. Okay, and Google will show you. This is the first one. You simply click that, and go to download. And on the GitHub website, you have all these installers here. So you just need this one, Windows installer. Since I have it installed, I'm not going to go through it. Just um, it's very simple. Just save it and run it. It will install the OBS uh, NDI package on your computer. And uh, then you have to restart OBS, and uh, it will show NDI um, source in the options. Okay. Um, I have already NDI source here, so let me let me go to Skype. Okay, so when you have your Skype up and running, go to these three dots here and go to settings. In settings, go to calling, advanced, and here you have to turn on this option that says allow NDI usage. It's the same NDI source that we have uh, added just now in OBS so that uh, Skype and OBS can communicate with each other using NDI technology. Okay, so NDI and then close it. Now it works. And for we're just going to use test. And we're just going to start a meeting. Okay, so I have this Skype window running for me and uh, I'll just go to OBS and inside this NDI, I'll change the source to uh, Skype. It says that desktop something something is the name of my computer is running Skype right now. So I'll just click this and uh, it should show uh, the Skype window that is running in the background. Okay. Okay, here it is. So I'll just put it here. And this is how you communicate with Skype on uh, OBS. The rest of the procedure is the same. You just go to Facebook, take the stream key, put in the settings, and uh, start stream streaming. So it will take everything to uh, Facebook and start streaming live. The rest of the things um, are the same as I explained for Zoom. The only thing that is different is how you connect um, Skype with OBS. It's through NDI source. Okay, so thank you very much for watching this video and I hope, I hope that it is useful. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask. I'm not an expert in IT, but this is something that I found useful for myself. So I thought I should share with my audience. Um, please like and subscribe uh, and uh, I'll see you with another video. Thank you so much.